Hey guys, welcome back, and today we got some pretty crazy Roblox news to go over. Like, Creecraft literally just made a Roblox game that breaks your PC. I'm not even joking, it crashed my game, man. A massive Roblox YouTuber just gave out five Hasm codes, and each one is worth 100,000 Robux. And who to trust might have actually just gotten removed out of the UGC program for doing some pretty awful stuff. I've literally only scratched the surface of everything we're gonna be talking about today, but guys, before we get into to any of that though make sure you are subscribed to my channel because if you become a subscriber you will be up to date on the latest things going on in the roblox community also on top of that we're trying to get 60,000 subscribers so uh, help us hit our goal and you'll be pretty epic but guys we got a lot of things to go over today so i'm just gonna get straight into it so the very first thing i want to talk about today is the goofiest moderation i've ever seen on roblox so you see this image here this is just a normal game pass in a roblox game and he got banned for a day for it. it says roblox doesn't permit phishing scamming requests password sellings of accounts unauthorized accounts blah 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 like it's so stupid how did this get moderated for that and they got banned for a day and now this is actually something i do want to go ahead and recommend to a lot of you developers who watch my videos out there because this has actually saved me okay because i i used to do a little bit of game development on roblox here and there back in the day and uh, i what i do is when i upload images to roblox i use an alternate account Count to upload images because random bans like this do happen very frequently. I remember back in the day, I also got a ban stupid like this. Like, I uploaded some normal Roblox music and I got a warning on Roblox, which is just stupid. It was just normal music. There was nothing bad about it. There was no swearing. There was nothing bad in it. And Roblox went ahead and gave a warning to my alternate account. So that's why I always upload stuff on alts because uh, all they can do is really ban your alternate account for a few days and it doesn't like make it so you can't use Roblox for days because you know roblox moderation can't tell the difference between an apple and a pear it's so stupid i can't believe it moderations like this even happen on roblox like how does this even go through are these manually approved or i'm guessing they're probably bots or something that like looks at these to determine whether they should be on roblox or not but my guess is this dude could probably appeal but uh it's just one day but that, that just sucks does something like that on your record too i don't know it's it's just very dumb but let's get on to our next story of today which is kind of like something i wanted to talk about green lake of cats did a video about who to trust catch you guys up to speed who to trust was a roblox developer that was caught flirting publicly with a 15 year old while i believe he was 20 years old which is just absolutely mind-blowing and totally disgusting this dude was probably one of the most paid roblox ugc developers i'd go as far as to say he was one of the very first roblox ugc developers and uh very disgusting stuff and uh anyways green lego cats just released a new video discussing the possibility of him being removed out of the UGC program. He has not uploaded any hats since January. So, uh, yeah, it is definitely very weird, and he definitely might have gotten removed out of the UGC program, but I've actually talked around to a few different people, a few different UGC people, and, uh, they've told me a very interesting thing. So they told me that when you get banned from UGC, all of your accessories go off sale unless they were uploaded to a group. And Who to Trust still has a lot of accessories on Roblox that are still being sold under his name so that means that might not be the case now i would like to hear back from you guys if you guys know any more information on this because i, I kind of just asked one person so I, I could be wrong but if roblox didn't go ahead and remove him from the ugc program i'm not even gonna lie i'm going to be a little disappointed in roblox like this dude has done a lot of messed up stuff caught in 4k his own friends admitted to it and uh roblox is just sitting on the sidelines like we don't care like dude you guys gotta get involved and remove people like this they represent your platform they are literally a danger to your player base but yeah, that, that's pretty much my opinion on it. But guys, I want to get on to the next story of today, which is a game Creecraft just made that quite literally almost crashed my computer. I'm not even joking. Like, my fans started making some weird noise and stuff, and my PC started getting really hot, and everything wasn't working, bro. What did you make, Creecraft? What is this game? All right, gamers, I'm on Creecraft's profile, and off camera, I tried this game, and it actually almost crashed my PC. We're going to play this, though. So it's this game here it's called explosion this game will crash your pc and i'm not even joking it almost crashed mine okay here we go we're going into explosion all right welcome to explosion i'm just gonna play the sound it gets so loud you guys don't even know look at me i barely functioning what is this what is this game bro what did create oh my gosh 
Oh my god, I'm not even moving my mouse. I'm not I'm actually not even moving my mouse. This this is like so bro. Okay, I'm just not actually moving. Oh. Oh yo, I broke it. Wait. Oh oh no. I'm gonna like it's gonna take forever to respawn. Oh no, it's not. Oh look at this. I got it. I got it. I, I'm breaking the game, guys. Oh, that's what's lagging the game. I see. So he just has a million sparkles and fireworks going off. Oh my god! Thank you, Creecraft, for almost breaking my PC. Like, bro, I have a good PC, too, and, like, I almost, like, bro, my thing started heating up, and, like, bro, I knew it wasn't good, bro. What you, what you doing, Creecraft? Is this what you do in your free time, bro? Creecraft literally looks like Mr. Clean. I can go roller skate on his forehead. Actually, wait, I take that back. He doesn't look like Mr. Clean, bro. Looks like Ambush, bro. You can't tell me this is not Ambush. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little out of hand there. I'm very sorry, Mr. Creecraft. But anyways, I want to get to this last and final story we have for today. So, if you guys don't know who Olix is, he is a Please Donate YouTuber. If you guys haven't seen his videos, I recommend you go check him out. It's definitely, a he's definitely one of, if not the most creative Roblox YouTubers there is. Like, he puts so much effort into, like, his storytelling and puts a lot of time and effort into his content. Great YouTuber, does a lot of cool stuff. But anyways, the reason why we're talking about him today is, uh, the Hasm Code. So, if you guys don't know what a Hasm Code is, Hasm just recently recently set up a site where you could put in a roblox code that content creators give out to people that you could just literally get robux from it's actually really really insane and olix literally just gave out around 500,000 robux in hazm codes i'm not even joking five different winners won 100,000 robux each and that that is just crazy for one okay i do want to say i think it is absolutely genius how smart hazm is with his marketing we can never go a video without talking about hazm like, and it's so smart what he's done recently with his hazm codes because every single youtuber is giving them out and it's giving free promotion to please donate like I, i'm really wondering like in return like if he's actually generating a profit with how much robux he is giving out to people and also as well it's just really awesome to see him like just give back to the community i, I you've never really seen this before with any other roblox developer and as well hazm just seems to kind of like care about the community too it's, it's not like you know like a lot of developers like for instance Preston and stuff who just kind of seem very disconnected and uh, tweet stuff out like free to play players suck I just think it's really cool what this dude is doing and also it's pretty awesome of Olex to give 500,000 robux back to his fans very cool stuff we are seeing over there uh, with Olex and uh, Hazm and as well Hazm with his genius marketing and also I didn't even mention this Hazm is like 15 I think Olex is well like 15 like bro they doing some crazy stuff at their ages you guys are awesome well uh i think that is a note i want to go ahead and end today's video on uh awesome people doing awesome stuff but gamers uh i think that'd be where we conclude today's video let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about today follow me on twitter at real uh but we can wrap up here bye guys